Look at that beautiful morning sky, guys. Guess what? It is 64 degrees here. This morning, this was a little unexpected. Uh, we are still expected, though, to climb up into the 90s, but what a nice, cool, blessed morning we have right now. And you can tell that uh, fall is coming just by the colors of that sky in the early morning hours. We'll start to see this also in the evening hours. Lots to do this morning, guys, and then I gotta head on over to my mom's and uh, check on her. But uh, all of these tubs will be filled with many of my seed starters. I think we have 28 in here. There's one of my little foos enjoying some sweet potato leaves. You notice he doesn't run, or she doesn't run from us. We throw food out, some of the scraps out for them as often as I can. So we got all of these planted with broccoli and cabbage. And we got these planted with broccoli and cabbage, some kale and uh, some chard. So here are my little onions, my onion starts and the ones that I transplanted looking pretty good. And these up here in the raised bed. So what did I learn this morning when I was transplanting is I better start a lot more seeds for that other high tunnel. So I'm gonna have to get some more cabbage planted, some more broccoli planted. Um, my kale looks to be doing fine. I did already plant some Swiss chard as you know. So I'm gonna go through my box in there guys and start figuring out what we're moving forward with. Okay everyone, been working, uh, Greg's been working outside. We got all the things planted in the high tunnel. Got to do some more seed starts in the morning. I ran to my mama's, checked on her, made her some chicken and dumplings, her favorite. If you've not seen my recipe, you've got to go check it out. Um, so right now, I'm going to make another tincture. It's going to be a Maline tincture, and Maline is very good for your respiratory tract. And some people say that it's good for pain. So uh, what I'm going to make it with is some of my fresh Maline leaves from my Tower of Power, and I'm going to use some Everclear. You can use Everclear or vodka, a clear grain vodka, uh, clear grain alcohol, um, 80 proof or higher. And then I'm gonna show you, these are the tinctures that I've already made for the flu and cold season coming up. So I'm uh, pretty excited about this, guys, because it doesn't take very much of these to put into some water or some tea, um, just to help you with uh, viruses and the flu and just general uh, feeling of unwellness. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna show you um, my holy basil tincture this has been sitting in here since 822 so i'm going to go ahead and strain this and show you this i strained this one the other day because it had said about a week longer than that one looking good this is my lemon balm that i made about a month ago this is looking good and i threw some of those orange slices those dehydrated orange slices and stuff in here and i'm going to see how i can do with this um, i did find where orange tinctures um, also are good for general well-being and so we're going to see how this works out and this needs to be in here for probably about seven to ten days we'll do a follow-up on this this is some of the freeze-dried holy basil tea i did have one cup guys and it was uh, very calming um, made me uh, get kind of sleepy and uh, drowsy so as uh, the weather starts to cool off because it's already 95 degrees again out there um, I will start using this more and I'll use it in my tea press or I'll use um, one of the little um, strainers to make a cup and Greg also enjoyed a cup and I can use this and then put a little bit of my holy basil tincture or any of my other tinctures to flavor it up or some of my freeze dried fruit. But let's get started on this Maline. First let's go ahead and strain this holy basil one out. Wow, smells really, really good. So we're gonna get all the leaves out of there, let this strain a little bit, and I'm gonna get a clean jar, and we will replace and put uh, our liquid, our tincture in another jar, and we're gonna set it aside for uh, a time when it will be needed. 
I still have some holy basil out there in that Tower of Power. Um, I think I'm probably going to freeze dry it, and uh, so I'll have more tea makings. But it is growing pretty well, and it's growing back where I clipped it back. Ooh wee you can use that as an astringent, a mouthwash, or anything else you want to use it. It's potent. So, now I have two jars. Next, I've washed up my mullein leaves here. And we're going to get them ready in a jar and do the very same thing. So check your leaves, make sure. Wash them off real good. These are soft and fuzzy. These are some really, really good looking leaves here. So we want to kind of mush these up and fill this jar about three quarter high. So doing this will help release the oils. The other ones, I put them in there and used a, oh, one of those pressing things before I added uh, the alcohol, but we'll just do this. It smells really good, guys. So I've pressed it down really good. Now we're gonna pour Everclear in there. We're using Everclear, guys, because we bought an abundance of this for sanitizing uh, last year. And you want to make sure that you cover everything. It's just like almost with fermenting, you have to make sure that you cover everything in the jar so that bacteria, mold, anything cannot come to the surface. I think I got it. All right, so we got it covered in there. We're gonna shake it up, and every day that I see this and walk by it, I'm gonna shake it up and see, look, I'm gonna need to add a little bit more because it didn't cover since those leaves popped up. We wanna make sure and get it all covered. To the brim. So that's it. That's how you make a tincture from your uh, herbs, from your Tower of Power or your herb garden. This will come in handy, I'm sure guys, as like a cough syrup or to help us fight off anything that uh, we may be thinking is ailing us. We'll also test it out as a pain reliever because uh, there are several people out there that say this is a good pain reliever. So that's the gist of it. We expect this to turn a very dark green and uh, excited to see how this turns out. So guys, um, stay tuned. We'll let you know whenever I make my next cup of tea, I'll show you exactly how we do that. Um, very excited. Can't brag more about my Tower of Power that uh, one of my subscribers gave me. Thank you again so much, Terry. We love you. So anyway, guys, have a great day. Hit that subscribe button. Be sure and share our videos. Leave your comments below. Tell me what kind of tinctures you're making for you and your family, if any. And uh, we will be in touch. We have lots going on. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that like button. Take care. We'll see you in a bit.